the noose incident. Racism is not isolated to one region of the world and unfortunately encompasses a vast geological landscape. In the south shore of Nova Scotia, Canada, a rather disturbing case angered people across the country. In May 2016, a series of racial motivated incidents began to occur, mostly the raising of Confederate flags by students. The most horrific and disgusting was when an African American teacher arrived at school to find a noose hanging over his desk. CBC News managed to dig into the case and found the racially charged incidents had been occurring since early 2015. But the school board has remained quiet and they are trying to deal with the situation. So far, the motivation behind the incidents is unknown, apart from purely discriminatory behavior. After an investigation by the school board, the student involved in the noose incident was identified and disciplined, although they have refused to comment on what was done as punishment. Hopefully, this will be the end of the South Shore racist incidents, and maybe the world can eventually put racism behind them. In Schoolyard Possession Demonic possession is a scary but popular topic since it piques much interest. In most cases, there is one possession which usually sparks controversy, but Elsa Pera Flores School in Peru saw the idea of possession happen tenfold. In May of 2016, around 20 girls attending the school began suffering bizarre symptoms, including convulsions, vomiting, fainting spells, and even foaming at the mouth. All the sufferers talked about seeing a tall man wearing black stalking them, even though no one fitting that description was around. All the girls aged between 11 and 14 were rushed to a hospital, with trucks being used to transport them quickly. A further 80 to 100 students have since suffered the same symptoms and have been rushed to the hospital. The school believes it is a series of demonic possessions from malevolent forces living in the school. Experts believe the children are either suffering the effects of some sort of drug or even a type of mold known to cause hallucinations and severe sickness. The same mold is theorized to be the cause of the claims of witchcraft in New England in the early settled days of America. The story continues to expand and until this source is figured out, it appears Flora's school will continue to be plagued by the contagious demonic possession. The Mystery of Kendrick Johnson A case which has caused much controversy is made even more tragic since it happened at school during class hours. Kendrick Johnson was a basketball player at Lowndes High School in Valdosta, Georgia, and was considered by peers to be very talented in the sport. On January 11, 2013, staff and students were shocked when Johnson's body was found in a rolled-up gym mat. An initial autopsy revealed Johnson had suffocated, leading investigators to believe he had climbed in to retrieve something and got stuck, unable to breathe. However, the family refused this explanation and ordered another autopsy to be conducted. This time, signs of blunt force trauma to the head were discovered, and the case became a homicide investigation. However, the case has since stood still, and no suspects have been named. Johnson's family have accused the school board and police of orchestrating a cover-up, which both institutes deny. As of 2016, there is an ongoing wrongful death suit of $100 million, which is still awaiting judgment. Whatever happened to Johnson in that gym is left to speculation, with some stating it was a freak accident and others saying it was a racially motivated homicide. Playground of Blood For many children, recess was something they all looked forward to. The well-needed break during the school day was in order to get their energy going and keep them from becoming drained during their studies. However, a school in Sydney, Australia got a massive shock when the recess bell rang. Children rushed out into the field only to find the cubby house was covered in what appeared to be blood. Police arrived on the scene and it was revealed more than 30 centimeters of blood covered the entire cubby house. 
at first believing it to be a sick prank using red food coloring or animal's blood. Forensics testing proved the blood indeed belonged to a human being. More tragic is the blood appeared to be that of a male child. Police immediately opened a homicide investigation and are still searching for answers. However, there has so far been no DNA matches to any unsolved cases, leading many to believe there could be a small child out there still undiscovered. As of 2016, the case remains open but has gone cold due to the lack of significant evidence to provide a lead, leaving police and the community both scratching their heads and mourning the possible loss of an infant, the identity of whom we may never know. The Lakewood Incident it's no secret that people in high school begin to feel a range of emotions as their bodies mature. Sadly, this can lead to extremely malicious crimes. Lakewood, California is a city within Los Angeles County. In the early 1990s, a group of high school boys decided to hold a competition to see which of them could have sex with the most girls. They dubbed themselves the Spur Posse after their favorite basketball team, the San Antonio Spurs. Soon their antics became out of hand and there was wide accusation of some of the teens raping girls in order to gain a lead in the competition. By 1993, LA County sheriffs caught wind of the incidents and began an investigation. Several of the Spur Posse were arrested on March 18th and they became known across the nation. All but one of the boys were released after detectives found their sexual encounters had been consensual, but one teen was kept under statutory rape charges after it was found he had sex with girls as young as 10 years old. A victim testified she found one of the teens at her window and he demanded sex, which she obliged out of fear of rumors that the boys harmed girls who declined. After the case was closed, the boys continued to be infamous and made appearances on tabloid talk shows across the country. The case remains controversial and activists today use it as an example of why sexual offenders should receive harsher sentences for their crimes. Jeremy spoke in class today. American rock band Pearl Jam has a major fan favorite in the song, Jeremy. Not many people know its dark meaning and the fact it is based on not one, but two tragic true stories. Jeremy Dele, a 15-year-old attending Richardson High School, was described as a quiet and melancholic teen. Unknown to his classmates and the staff, Dele had been suffering from major depression, which caused him to slip in his grades and face detention countless times. One day, Dele showed up to class late and was told by the teacher to get a late slip. When Dele returned, he had a revolver in his hand, which he promptly placed in his mouth and fired. Nobody had time to react, and it is likely Dele was killed instantly. A fellow classmate described Dele as kind and said the two would pass notes back and forth to each other during their time in in-school suspension. Pearl Jam singer Eddie Vedder read an article about the story and was moved to write the song. He stated years later he also had inspiration from a personal experience during his school days. A fellow classmate of his had brought a gun to school and began shooting in his oceanography class. Room. While Vetter was not in the room at the time, he said he heard the shots and later found out the classmate was an individual whom he'd clashed with many times. As for Dele, his memory is forever within the lyrics of Jeremy, so now his voice can be heard. The Mecca Girls School Fire Saudi Arabia has been known for having a controversial human rights record and a strict religious code known as Sharia law. In the city of Mecca, considered the center of the Islamic world, a major incident caused outcry across the globe. In the early morning of March 11, 2002, a fire broke out at the Mecca Intermediate School No. 31. 
As teachers and children ran for the exits, members of the Religious Police, or Mutaween, prevented several girls from exiting the building to safety because they were not properly covered and there was a risk of male emergency personnel coming into contact with them. As a result, 15 girls perished in the fire, nine of whom were Saudi and the rest from Chad, Egypt, Guinea, Niger, and Nigeria. While an inquiry found that the Mutaween had in fact not interfered until the situation was under control, witnesses claim they were there in full force and not allowing girls to leave the school. This was not the last incident of such matter. In 2014, a female student at a Saudi university was denied access to proper medical care because the advanced medical assistants were male, thus resulting in her death. As a result of this and the school fire, activists have called for sanctions against Saudi Arabia until they improve their civil rights record.